To be clear, I absolutely f asterisk ing did. I emailed 2x, I texted 2x, and I sent him printed letters in the mail 2x. I documented all these after he didn't respond to the first set of messages. I had no in going personally as I did not want to be in his presence for any reason. I don't particularly think he's a good person. He was always aggressive. Though he was not physically abusive he also cheated on me twice and gave me an STI that I'm lucky I was able to deal with before it became detrimental to my pregnancy. When I could not contact him I decided to move back home to to Canada give birth. And did not put him on the certificate. He clearly didn't want to be involved in my opinion and the stress of what he did to me had me in therapy all their my pregnancy and caused multiple stress related issues to my health. It took a lot of therapy. I have since married a woman and she legally adopted our daughter a less than a month ago. And we are plan on moving back to her own home country in the Netherlands in summer, now that the global issues is calming and our visas are in the final stages. DM'd me through my new Instagram. I don't know how he even found me, two days ago, with a very long cruel and berating message about how I hid his child from him. I was surprised, then angry and simply wanted to responded with screenshots of the ways that is did and ignore it. But I just said, paraphrasing, I did attempt to make contact on multiple occasions. Through multiple methods a. Mail, text, and email. You did not respond. I am uncertain her anyone could have missed all of those. Twice. He asked me where I was and I just responded that I was no longer living in America. He has since blown up my emails to the point of harassment. And my father has since told me to funnel them out of my mail email after he read a few and found it to be a disgusting display of self-pitying idiocy. I do believe he knows where my family home is we had visited once and in one of the emails he threatened to come by the house and take you back to her home country. Since then my father has suggested moving up my family's moving date and he is paying for an Airbnb for us to stay at. My wife herself is three months pregnant. And this is really stressing her. So I told her we should move up the date. I just don't know what to do with this situation. He is showing the exact reasons I did not meet with him in person. I am at a loss. I want to help my wife. Her pregnancy was obviously planned and I know better than Moe's what stress can do. I'm also worried he'll show up. I just needed to vent. But sight into anyone who's been in a situation like this. Contact a lawyer. I was thinking of contacting the police about his threats to kidnap her. But I will ask my friend, who works in family law, about her suggestion for the legal side of this. I'm not sure how this works since he my daughter isn't even an American citizen. And neither am I. Talk to the lawyer you had handle the adoption. You need to make sure that everything there is nailed down, that you didn't leave any openings that he could walk you. From a legal viewpoint, you probably need to stop communicating with him. If he tries to overturn the adoption, you don't want to give him ammunition he could use. For example, if he needs some grounds to claim paternity and demand a test, you don't want those grounds to be your own texts. Yeah stop communicating with him but honestly if you are in a different country there is little the courts can do in the country he is in. So yeah, move up those plans. As a Canadian living in the U.S. and as the father of two adopted daughters, much of what was advised is stupid. Do not take advice from Reddit. Contact a lawyer. Biological parents do have rights, even across borders. You need to be sure that his parental rights and obligations were extinguished. This needs to be higher up. Op needs a lawyer on retainer stat. Save all those treatening messages. Never speak with him. Make a file and out in everything you have, that you notified him. A copy of the birth certificate and adoption papers. Every contact you have. If he really show up to your house, call the police. He is an ex. The child is not in his name. The police would remove him. Then you would even get a restraining order easier. Dot. Checking the adoption through a lawyer is a good idea. And making a file that shows his character and how unfit he is to be around a child will be also a big help. I'm also sure that he has no real interest in the child. It is just about making your life hell. This is international. The kid has been adopted. He's not on the certificate. And there's no paternity test. And no way to force you to get one.
so I don't think he has a case there. I've tried to tell my wife that, but she could probably tell I was a bit uncertain about it. That really good to hear though because his messages are really getting to me. If you haven't done so already make all your social media private as well as your wife's. I don't know if you should block him but she definitely should and anyone else he may try to contact. The less visible your family is to him the better. Don't talk to the police. If you do, they may be obliged to prevent you from leaving the country until paternity is determined. Dot. A lawyer is a much better choice, because they cannot speak with anyone but you about what you tell them. Replying to boost this comment BCI fully agree. Lawyer. Not cops. I think he found out you're happy and he just wants to make you miserable. Be very careful with your communication so that you don't implicate yourself. Buy your time and move. Also remove some details, change from this post, like countries etc. The moving part is a great idea, for your wife's peace of mind and a safe pregnancy, as many have told you consult with a lawyer and if necessary call the police, maybe there's a way they can retain the POS in the airport and send them to the US, lol. Dot. This is just another way he is abusing you. I bet he doesn't even want your child but to hurt you. Maybe he saw a post about how happy you are or have told some mutual friends about your plans. And he's trying to scared you, but I bet when you consult a lawyer they will ease many of your fears. Just in case talk to school or childcare facility if your daughter is in one, and inform them who is authorized to take your child away to home, take another measures while you're still in Canada. I hope police there is not as shitty as in the US, and you can call them if he shows up there. Sweetie talk to a lawyer. If you are Movi BG to the Netherlands get a Dutch lawyer specializing in international family law. Things might get complicated for you. Family law is extremely accommodating to supposed fathers and the rights of foreign citizens. Move as fast as you can you've already told him too much. I doubt he will go through the process of objecting to the adoption your wife will less stressed when she is surrounded by family and not being threatened by this psycho. Plus your little girl should be learning as much Dutch as possible, and congrats on moving to a country with the happiest kids in the world smiley face. Police? If your current partner is the legal second parent and international travel is allowed, go ahead and do what you like. Then change your email and phone number. Poof. Problem solved. Now, if there's a small chance they didn't get the messages and they're behaving respectfully and wish to have an opportunity at a healthy relationship with their child, maybe consider a plan moving forward, but it doesn't sound like this is their mo. Dot. If you are still in the same country and he tries to petition the courts that you hid the child from him, submit the evidence that tried to contact him, there's likely a statute after reasonable notice for him to take any action and they'll quickly shut him down. You need to speak with the attorney who handled her adoption. Then follow her guidance. Do not do anything other than what your attorney tells you. Do not respond to him in any way. None. Girl just move. This isn't hard. And don't tell him where you're going. Go talk to a lawyer for reassurance but I don't see what he could possibly do here. He's threatening to kidnap your child. Start by making a report with the police. As soon as possible, sit with a family law attorney and find out what if any legal options he has if he wants to throw out the adoption. Make sure everything is legally nailed down. Quit communicating back, but keep copies of everything and make a log of every email or direct message. Why is he contracting you now? How would he even know the child was his? You should have never responded to the first message. I agree with your father, cut out communication and move to the Netherlands quickly. Do not call the police talk to a lawyer. Better yet talk to a lawyer after you leave the country. Ignore him. He is just trying to disrupt your life. I doubt he would try to come see the child at all. Op, please don't contact him at all again. Also, please seek a consultation to see what your options are. He isn't technically the dad, and has no proof that he is. Just proof that you attempted to tell him you're pregnant. Dot. Please follow others' advice of moving plans up and ending all contact with this guy. If he didn't know that she was his child how did he know to come looking for her? 
I'm a woman admittedly, but I would have thought the logical thing to do after snooping an ex's profile and seeing a kid that may line up to the end of a relationship, is to ask? Is that kid mine? Move. Emailed, texted, letters, phone call? Certified mail? I dunno I think we are missing something from this tale. Especially the no reaction from him, he was looking at a potential 18 years of child support. And if he is as hot-headed as Op describes him I would expect him to respond in some way. Shut down social media. Give real friends your new contacts. Good luck. He can't do shit ignore him completely and move ASAP. Given how he's being delusional about you hiding it, I'm wondering if someone else, like parents or a GF somehow, found out and are making him reach out, and he's trying to save face? Or he found out he can't have other kids so now he needs this one? I would tell him to stop harassing you then not respond anymore and definitely move up your moving date, get to the Netherlands ASAP. I have to ask, is it possible that he was living with someone who deleted, destroyed those messages, that he didn't miss them, they were taken away, deleted before he could learn of them? I swear there was a story about exactly that on here just a day or two ago. Yeah something is not adding up here and we're only getting one side of the story. I don't think Op did a good enough job at contacting the dad either. If she didn't want to meet up then fair enough but a phone call would be more appropriate for that kind of news. She at the very least she should have confirmed that he knew he was a dad. The fact she mentioned he cheated and gave her an STD doesn't matter either. It's no reason to deny the kid the love of their dad. From his reaction it sounds to me like he really didn't know and is genuinely upset that his kid has been kept from him. Restraining order. 